the calling for a second special counsel. House Oversight Chairman Trey Gowdy of South Carolina and Judiciary Chairman Bob Goodlatte of Virginia say a new investigation, an independent one, is needed to look into abuses of FISA surveillance during and after the 2016 election. Joe DeGeneva is a former U.S. attorney for the District of Columbia, and he joins us tonight. So, Joe, are you, just bottom line it, you know a lot about special counsels. Are you for this or no? Absolutely. Uh, it has to happen because the inspector general to whom this investigation has been given has no subpoena power. He has no authority to interview anybody outside the Department of Justice or FBI. He cannot even interview FBI and DOJ employees who have left. He cannot interview Clapper, Brennan, any of the people associated with it. He can't interview all the people that have left, Yates, all those people. So the bottom line is you have to have a grand jury. Uh, it's fascinating. We have a grand jury and a special counsel in Russiagate where there's been no crime committed. And here with the FISA violations where there have been huge numbers of crimes committed by various people in various departments, we have no grand jury. So part of the, the reason you have a special counsel is to restore public faith in the system itself. It seems yeah. to me making public the FISA requests for the warrants would go a long way to ending the debate over all this. Can that happen? Will it happen? Uh, it should happen. I cannot conceive of anything that is in those affidavits that would uh, that would compromise sources and methods. Uh, it's ludicrous that they haven't been released. They should be released. The American people have a right to see them because remember, Tucker, what this is all about, and FISA is just part of it. There was a brazen plot by senior officials at DOJ and FBI in the Obama administration and senior Obama administration intelligence officials to exonerate Hillary Clinton falsely and then to frame Donald Trump if Hillary lost the election. We need a grand jury. We need the FISA applications out. We need it all done, and we need it done now. So here's, here's a new angle in this, and I want to get your response to it. Um, so FBI agent Peter Strzok, who still works at the Bureau, I think, in Human Resources, uh, may have known about a <laughs> breach of Hillary Clinton's private email server, but apparently didn't do anything about it. Sources have told Fox News that during the final months of the FBI's investigation into Hillary Clinton's server, irregularities in the server's metadata were found, and that indicated a potential breach. Strzok, who was overseeing that investigation, took no action in response, according to our sources. Maybe he was too busy sending anti-Trump text messages <laughs> to his mistress or whatever. How, I mean, does that seem out of the ordinary to you? It's absolutely out of the ordinary. And here's what happened on top of that. James Clapper, who was the director of national intelligence yes. under Obama, when he found out that Hillary Clinton's server had been compromised, they are required by law to conduct, to conduct a damage assessment to see whether or not sources and methods have been compromised. He refused, Clapper refused to do a damage assessment, and that is why Strzok decided not to investigate the compromise of Hillary's server. On what grounds did Clapper, who by the way is the same one who under oath lied to Congress and the public about spying on Americans, on what grounds did he refuse to do a damage assessment? Because he wanted to protect Hillary and he could do it and he had the consent of the president not to do an assessment. And by that I mean the consent of President Obama. Wow, that's pretty shocking. Thank you, Joe, I appreciate that. Thank you, Tucker. Well, a group of physicians are calling on 